Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will be doing your makeup, uh, the natural spring makeup with some bling bling. Uh, so it's the makeup that I have at the moment. You can see it is quite, uh, quite simple. Uh, but again, spring inspired and yes, you can use it with uh, warm new weather. So let's start. So the first thing that I am going to use is some moisturizer just to provide your skin with some uh, hydration and the moisturizer that I'm going to use is this um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Vichy. I like this very much because um, it's hyaluronic acid. It gives your skin uh, a bit uh, extra of that uh, plumping effect. And uh, it's a good base for the makeup. So that should be enough. Let's just uh, spread this in the topping effect and let just absorb everything into the skin and it should be uh, it should be ready in no time. So that's our first step done and to the foundation and the base. So the next step, uh, this type of product is usually used as uh, the last step, but I use it as a step uh, in between your moisturizer, your primer, this is a setting spray. So the setting spray I use it before foundation because uh, it helps to uh, create that barrier between your skin and uh, foundation and um, you know any oils that may come through uh, they will have the setting spray as well as a layer to prevent um, the breaking of uh, foundation. Uh, so this one is also a very good one because it has some very small glitters inside. Very, very fine. And it is also illuminating. So when you spray it underneath your foundation, it gives that uh, look as it f if it was uh, shine from within. So let's spray it a little bit. Let me just...
give it a moment and let it settle on your skin. Uh, so as I mentioned, this is an illuminating setting spray and uh, it is, it smells like roses as you may, uh, may feel the scent already. So let's give it a moment. So now we have our foundation and given that we are going for a bit more healthy look and fresh skin, uh, so I'm going to use a uh, BB cream today. And the BB cream that I'm going to use is this one from a Korean brand. I really like this and it does give a very natural look to your skin. I'm going to apply just a little bit and yes, so your skin can still uh, shine through and have all that healthy glow. So let's just apply a little bit on the back of my head and go from there. So let's just apply this on your face, on your cheeks, a little bit more on your forehead. If we need a little more, we can always take a bit more. I'm going to apply it with this very soft sponge. This gives a very soft effect and also helps uh, to spread everything evenly. So let's just tap, tap, tap. Very gentle tapping motion, tap, 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 all around your face, so tap, 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 okay, just a bit more my secret is the more you tap the better it looks the more skin like it just merges with your skin and just few more taps and your skin will look the best okay so how do you feel about your skin it does look very natural. Yes, I'm glad you liked it. So I will just use a little bit of concealer next and we can go to the main thing of this look which is this blushing. Cheeks. So this is the concealer that I'm going to use. Uh, it's a very natural concealer. Um, I would say it does have a sheer coverage, um, but it is a very light and again we don't want to use anything, you know, too, uh, too much. For this look, uh, we want it to stay healthy and So let me just, um, I'm going to apply it in a few, uh, few places, so underneath your eyes, 
Do you think that maybe under, uh, underneath and on the sides of your nose, maybe some on the chin? That. So your eyes supply underneath your eyes a little bit. Let me just click a bit more product and um, leave a bit on the side of my hand. We don't want the product to uh, to slide, you know, on the other side. The other side of your nose, and now just a little bit here on the chin, uh, just to give that um, uh, that highlighting effect. And I think maybe we can. should be enough and let's just give it a moment for it to dry uh, that's my trick for every concealer I just wait for a little bit so it sets and then it performs much much better without sliding much around okay so let's just uh, wait for a few seconds so now that we have the concealer all settled or a bit more dry, you know, uh, let's just use the same soft uh, sponge that we used before to tap it in. So let's just tap it underneath your eyes. On the other side, of course, the chin as well, and your cheeks. We cannot forget the cheeks, don't want that. We don't want the concealer to just random. So the next step that we have here is a very important one. So besides the glowy skin, the other important thing that we have in this makeup is our pink and glowing cheeks. So for this I am going to use a liquid, um, a liquid blush. And this is also an illuminator. So it is a blush and highlighter at the same time. I love this product. I use it quite a bit already and I recommend it uh, very much. Uh, so it gives that glow. Again, we want to keep our cheeks pink and healthy. So it's a liquid, very liquidy product, but we don't need much. So let me just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I will apply. 
apply it with my finger. Just spread it around. It's the best way to apply it. I used to use the sponge and the brush, but the fingers too. Tap, 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 tapping motion. Okay, perfect. Let's try the next cheek. Tap, 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 tap. You see, I apply it quite high just to lift your. pretty it looks. Yes. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. A little bit more here. High on the cheeks. Tap, tap, tap. Let me use the clean finger to spread it and soften the edges. Just few more. Okay, looks shiny and healthy and perfect. So the next thing that we are going to uh, go for is our eyes. Besides the blush, the eyes are the main point of this makeup. Even though it is very soft, it still gives that glam with some shiny bits. So let's start with our eyeshadow. And I'm going to use this one. It is very quite basic, but I like the colors here very much and I love the packaging. It has the dream catchers and some spells, you know. So I really like the packaging. Both the exterior. Just open the palette. And remove protective plastic. Now the color that I'm going to use is this one and this one. first uh, shadow that I'm going to use is the base one, so this lighter one. It is called Selenite. It has cute names. Uh, selenite, uh, Sunstone, uh, Aragonite, Rose quartz, citrine, amber, and onyx. So let's just tap the axis and apply our selenite. Yes, so we have just a 
So sometimes the eyes do have a few creases, um, you know, from concealer or anything like that. Uh, so this type of uh, powdery and a bit lighter eyeshadow helps with that. Uh, so it is well spread. The brush and uh, let's go for our sandstone, which is this uh, a bit lighter color, pinky color. And we are going to apply it in the direction as if our eyeliner would go. Uh, so Can be with your eyes open. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Perfect. Now let me get a different brush and let's go for the main thing and let's go for the next color, which is this very nice. So let me just use a bit of a flatter brush on this one because we really want to pack it there at the corner just so it stays really pink there. Just tap 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 tapping motions, tap tap tap. Okay, and the next one. I think it looks really good. What do you think? Yes, it's very simple, very discreet, but we are going to use a your eyes and uh, turn your head a little bit so I can focus on that uh, outside line. Okay. Yes. Yes, just 
just hold So let's just clean everything uh, up uh, so the shadow easier than applying the only downside of this product really is just the applicator um, it's a very small brush and um, in the use it spreads around you know and uh, it does not look cute but the product is very very cute itself so Should be enough for one of the eyes. Let me just gather the sparkles. You can see here all the sparkles. Yes, let me apply it to the corner of your eye. Just tap, 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 tap. <sighs> yes, look. and it stays because again it does have that bigger glitter so it needs some kind of you know a bit holding effect uh, just uh, that all that glitter doesn't fall into your eyes uh, which is I may say from experience very uncomfortable Just take a few. 
So yes, let's complete our eye look with some mascara and of course given that we are following the natural line uh, I'm going to use a, a brown mascara and uh, it's a very natural looking one I love it and I use it almost every day actually it's a primer looks great, works great, and it's so easy to take off. So, yes, let me just apply a little bit. It's a very lengthening mascara, and I love, I really like uh, how natural it makes your lashes look. I just tilt your head up for me, okay? And uh, look down, okay? So, like that. Your lashes like that. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Just get closer. Like that. Perfect. Keep it just like that. Okay, let's go for another round. Another round of mascara. The excess. We don't want it there. Same technique, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, give me just another second. We'll use the tip just to fix few lashes here. Mm-hmm. And on the other side. Another look. Yes, like that. Okay, looks perfect. So now we have our eye look and skin. All we miss is our. Okay, so we are on the last steps here. And first I'm going to apply your uh, lip liner. So we are going to use this natural pink, uh, almost nude color. Uh, and yes, so this is a very nice color. I think it's very uh, spring-like and in all that uh, spring. So I'm going to line your lips with this pencil and also fill them in, okay? Now, give me just a little pout. Uh, please do keep your mouth closed. But just a little pout like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Keep it just like... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay, top lip done. Just a little bit more here. Okay, and now look at the side. 
sides, mm -hmm. a bit up and down, okay. Okay, look at me, yes, mm -hmm. now open your mouth just a little bit so I can feel the rest of your lips, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now give me a smile and to the sides. Mm -hmm. Up and down, just a little bit more right here, okay, all done with the lip liner, now let's go to the uh, glossy tint on top. So the last step with this look, we have a water tint. Uh, it's a slightly lighter texture tint. Um, I think yeah, it's very glossy as well, but still gives that tint effect to your lips. And it's a very nice nudish color. Uh, so it will help to bring the pink uh, from the lip liner a bit down into... Uh, it's a bit more wearable and a bit more nude color. Okay, so let's just remove the excess here and pout for me just like you did in a bit. Mm -hmm. Not too much. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And a bit more right here. Mm -hmm. Now do the for me. Okay, yes, just like that. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. okay, looks great. Yes, the color has uh, changed a little bit, it looks a bit more nude, but also a bit more uh, glossy, you know. Yes, the smell is really, really nice. Smells like grapes. Yes, I really like this product. So this is the look, the look complete. And I hope you like how it looks. Yes, uh, it really looks very nice with uh, your hair and everything. Very healthy. Yes, give me just another round of. Yes, do you like it? Okay, I'm so happy that you did like it and thank you so much for coming in today. Uh, hope to see you again uh, and wish you all the best as always.